to the class on lasers. In this class, we will see what are the unique features of lasers and what are the reasons for these uniqueness. All of you know that laser is a source of light. These are some familiar examples that will help you compare the light coming out of an LED bulb and the light from a laser. You might have probably identified some of the differences between them. For example, laser light has a specific color and it can be directed to long distances as a single arrow. But ordinary lamps do not have these features. These two differences that you have noticed are only some of the unique features of lasers. We will see other aspects also, but before that, let us see how light is generated. In every material, there are a large number of atoms. Usually, most of these atoms are in the ground state. Ground state is the lowest energy level. But if the atoms get energy, they can go to the upper energy levels. This process is called absorption. However, the upper energy levels, just because they are high energy, are unstable. Therefore, the excited atoms will invariably de-excite and come to the ground state. During this process, it will discard its extra energy as a photon. This process is called spontaneous emission. Why is it called spontaneous? Because it is a random process. These photons can be emitted in random directions at random instances. They can have random phases and also their energy can be different. The light we get from a lamp is due to the spontaneous emission. See, all the photons are moving in all possible directions. They are analogous to a crowd of people. On the other hand, there is another type of emission called stimulated emission. Stimulated emission is a controlled process. First of all, the atoms are prepared to be in the upper state by giving them sufficient energy. In fact, the atoms are forced to be there for a finite duration of time. Then, a photon is sent to the system which will trigger the de-excitation process. This triggering photon stimulates the upper state atom to emit a photon and both these photons will come out. These two can again stimulate two more atoms and result in four photons. Thus, instantaneously, there will be an avalanche of photons. All these photons are exact replica of the first triggering photon. This means all of them will have the same energy or wavelength, same phase which makes them coherent, propagate in the same direction and are of high intensity. You can compare them to a synchronous marching of photons. This is what happens in a laser. Photons, instead of going in random directions, they all propagate in phase and in a specific direction. This results in amplification of light. Laser is, in fact, an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So now you have learned that laser has unique features like high monochromaticity which means they are of a single color since they all have the same energy. Second one, highly directional due to the fact that they are all directed by the initial photon. And third one, highly coherent due to the phase synchronization. And lastly, they are highly intense due to the fact that all of them can be simultaneously produced and can be allowed to fall on a single small spot. So next time when you see lasers, think about all these specialities and remember that the reason for these specialities is stimulated emission. Thank you.